Hi, I'm Bill Peard, and welcome to another edition of Capital Preview, a show where we talk about uh, the senators and the House members' uh, initiatives and uh, laws that are being debated up at the Iowa State House. Our guest today on Capital Preview is Representative Ralph Watts, Republican from Adele. Welcome. Well, thank you, Bill. Watts. It's good to be here with you. It's good to have you here. I'm happy to uh, be able to talk to, about some issues at the at the uh, state house at the state house yeah. with you. You know, I think one thing that all Iowans are talking about, or at least a significant amount of Iowans, is um, our water quality and and issues that are related to our water quality. Um, my dad always told me that you know water would someday be the most important uh, commodity that we were discussing and. Um, we take it so much for granted. Sure. So sure. Um, I'm going to let you kind of well, jump in and talk you about bet. Our, Water quality yeah. has kind of come to the top of everybody's list uh, mm -hmm. recently because of the uh, lawsuit from the Waterworks and what they've done and all the uh, uh, high visibility issues that they've raised. Uh, it, it's a kind of an interesting issue. I, it's easy to gin up excitement about water quality because everybody's when I talk to people, I find that they're, what's their definition of water quality? And it's all over the place. Yeah. Um, I'm sure the waterworks would like to have uh, pure water coming into their facility so they'd process it less. Mm -hmm. uh, you talk to people out uh, sometimes on the trail, they want clear water uh, with uh, nothing in it, no sediment in it. Uh, some of those things are doable and some of them are just natural and, and uh, really not doable. Mm -hmm. uh, so the definite, what's the real definition of water quality is tough to find. Mm -hmm. uh, the issue that uh, uh, has come up, uh, of course, with a the, with the lawsuit is the issue of nitrates and uh, people are asking what's the source of it, what can we do about it, if anything, and uh, it, it, it has a lot of... Uh, ramifications to it. The governor in his new budget came up with an idea uh, about how we can put more money into water quality. We have been, as you recall, Bill, for the last couple of years, we've had the nutrient strategy plan working where we put money into uh, projects for farmers, for bioreactors, wetlands, and uh, those kinds of things that <coughs> aid the uh, farmers uh, and, and try to keep the uh, nutrients out of the, out of the water as much as they possibly can. Mm -hmm. In talking with folks at Iowa State, uh, in trying to get a little bit of a, an idea of what water quality really means, I find that they tell me that about 50% of the problem is natural. Mm -hmm. It comes from our natural, uh, our, our soils and the quality of our soils and, and the uh, uh, vegetation and, and uh, so on that we, we have. Part of it is uh, from uh, agriculture, uh, not, uh, certainly not all of it. Uh, part of it uh, might be from wildlife. Uh, and that's a that's a bigger issue. It's getting to be a bigger issue all along. You know that last year we had the problem with bird flu, mm -hmm. and in some areas they're really concerned about the number of wildlife, the uh, geese, for instance, that are that are uh, uh, putting uh, manure on uh, on the land and in water that really create a, a problem for for our people. So, <clears throat> what's the answer to it? I think there's there's uh, multiple things, but the, where I start from, Bill, is I, I had some history in uh, water purification uh, working in the power plants. Mm -hmm. And we had, <coughs> we, we purified our own water because you have to take the mineral out of the water that you get so that it's very pure going into the boiler. Right. Uh, that you don't destroy the boiler or the turbine blades. Mm -hmm. uh, and that process that we used was an ion exchange process similar to what the uh, uh, waterworks uses. Mm -hmm. In the older power plants that was the case 
in the newer power plants, they've gone to a new technology for reverse osmosis. All of us understand and probably are familiar with the reverse osmosis water purifiers that uh, uh, some have in their homes. Mm -hmm. It's a higher technology, higher cost uh, process, uh, but that too uh, is available to the waterworks. Now, you get back to uh, some of their issues, uh, it appears to me from my discussion with folks that are involved, the Waterworks has an old <coughs> ion exchange unit. And Bill Peart has said that himself. They need to Bill look, Stowe has said Bill, that. I'm sorry. I have not said Bill that, Stowe. Ralph. Yeah. <laughs> Bill Stowe has said that himself. Right. Um, that they need to replace those facilities. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's probably true. Mm -hmm. So the best thing that they could really do is get on with running their utility and tell us what it's going to take to replace those facilities and do it like every other utility does it. And obviously the customers are going to have to pay for it. Mm -hmm. I'm on uh, Exenia Rural Water and right. we get our water from the Des Moines Waterworks. Mm -hmm. It's very good water. Mm -hmm. We don't have to run our, we, we had, don't have to run our water softener, mm -hmm. uh, which is a blessing in itself. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Yes, if, if we have to spend five bucks more a month to finance the equipment for the waterworks to process the water, uh, I guess we have to do that. Right. But he's not going to solve his problem by a lawsuit with the farmers of Northwest Iowa. Uh, I think it's a radical environmental uh, move that he's made, and I, I would hope they would uh, retract that and get on with running their business. Like they should. Hey, Ralph, I was going to ask you, so so who de you're talking about the definition of water quality varies widely or greatly. So is there a board or a, a regulatory body that that has what that quality no. level is supposed to be? Well, or? sometimes the federal government, I think they have a criteria that water has to be swimmable and fishable, and, and uh, the EPA does some of that. And mm -hmm. quite frankly... Um, sometimes I think they go a little bit overboard in, in what their definitions are. Uh, uh, it's, it's, a, uh, it's one body of water can be swimmable during one part of the year and maybe not so swimmable after a, a large rainstorm uh, that carries the sediments and all the other stuff down the uh, watershed after a large rainstorm. But mm -hmm. in general, uh, I think the EPA tries to do some of that. Okay. Um, the governor has proposed a plan, as you know. He has. Um, to put funds into our water quality. Um, so what did, what did he, what's he want to do or what's he want to accomplish by doing that? First of all, we, we have to go back and remember that we put a one cent uh, local option sales tax. We allowed uh, schools, it, it first went to the uh, uh, school districts, everybody voted mm -hmm. on it, mm -hmm. and everybody uh, through the state uh, added that one cent sales tax for, for schools. The state came along, uh, what, two, three years ago, uh, 2008, we combined all those funds into what we call the save fund uh, for uh, advanced vision for education in Iowa. Mm -hmm. um, and that money then is distributed out to school districts for infrastructure purposes uh, across the state. Uh, and that's a full penny. Interesting uh, enough, that penny right now is bringing in about $450 million a year. And it's been increasing uh, at about two, three, four percent a year since we uh, implemented it. That save fund uh, sunsets in uh, uh, just a few years in 2029. <coughs> mm -hmm. What the governor has proposed to do is extend that tax from 2029 to 2049 and then starting this next year they will allow what the schools are getting now plus 10 percent of the additional increment each year would stay with the schools. The rest of that, above that increment, would go into water quality issues. Okay. Would be used for water quality. 
it's it's a it's a, a decent idea. It's a, it's a uh, uh, an idea worth worth considering. There are several concerns that I have with it. <clears throat> Number one, when you look at the amount of money that the SAVE fund will bring in from 2029 to 2049, starting from right now, is over $20 billion. $20 billion, um, when you look at, uh, at uh, uh, say if you constructed a $50 million building, uh, in 400 school districts, mm -hmm. you could do that with that money through 2049. Right. So theoretically, you could have a new school building and a new new football stadium in every school district in the state. Right. Um, is that really what we want to do with that that money, which goes which limited to infrastructure? Uh, I don't know. That's a that's a debate we ought to have. Right. Um, and if we, if we uh, dedicate a part of that fund to water quality, um, there's no definition on what water quality really is or how we'd use it. Right. And I, I guess I'm a little bit reluctant to just throw money at a problem. Um, and that's too early to tell at this point. So uh, I think we ought to debate it. We ought to look at it. Whether we want to do that or not, I think is a little bit up in the air at this point. Well, um, Ralph, are there any other funds that, um, that, that could be used for water quality issues? Well, one of the issues that's lurking out there in the background is the Legacy Trust that yeah. all of us voted on a few years ago to put the uh, 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 thing in our Constitution, a, a part of our Constitution right. that would use uh, three eighths of the next penny sales tax. If we if we raise sales tax yeah, again, I remember that. Yeah. Uh, the issue with that is that while and the Des Moines Register got it wrong several times, they they always said it was three eighths of a percent. No, it wasn't a three eighths of one percent. It was three eighths of, of the revenue that the next penny would bring in, which is forty percent, forty percent of the revenue. You, you can see now how much revenue we get from sales tax. Just the, just the uh, uh, save fund. One penny brings in over $400 million a year. Wow. If you peel off 40% of that for conservation and water quality issues, sure. uh, that's a big batch of money. It is. And it's a, mm -hmm. and it's a consistent revenue stream. Yeah. So that's uh, sitting out there. Uh, and, and that's in our constitution. So if we raise the Sales tax, one penny, 40% of it is taken immediately for that, for that fund. Uh, you put that on top, uh, if we raise the sales tax, and there's no indication that we're going to do that, by the way. Right. Uh, but it's there, it's automatic, if we ever do. Uh, if you put that on top of what the governor proposes, that's a sizable amount of money yeah. that would go into water quality. So, yes, that's, that's out there in addition. Well, Ralph, it's been a great discussion. We're, hey, we're out of, I enjoyed it. We're out of time this morning. Um, and thank you for joining us for another edition of uh, Capital Preview. Our guest today was Representative Ralph Watts, Republican from Adele. And uh, please join us again for another episode of Capital Preview.